Yo, yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, I have amazing news. Today is the day where the Valorant console open beta is officially open to everybody. No codes are required, no anything. If you want to play this game now, go play it. It is free. And for your Xbox and PlayStation fans out there, you do not need those memberships to pay, to pay online, okay? Those are only required for paid games, but anything like Fortnite, Apex, or Valorant console does not need a membership. And what does that mean? That means now this game can officially be open to everybody. Don't be afraid to try this out. This is a huge, like th this game itself is incredible on PC, but the game itself on console is surprisingly plays really well. And you're wondering how the hell do they were able to do this? Trust me, the transition between console and PC is seamless. They don't sacrifice anything. So this game could be good compared to the PC port. This is a verbatim, a pretty similar PC port. Nothing really has changed. They just added a couple of sliders and a couple curve responses. So this game flows a bit better on console because again, this game excels on the PC level. However, this game is even better on console. And for a tactical shooter, because I remember, I, if I remember correctly, somebody told me this one time, CS actually tried to do this a long time ago, but it failed miserably. Well, I can say this, this Valorant console port is absolutely amazing. This game is for you. If you're an Overwatch fan, definitely come check this out. If you're a Call of Duty fan, come check this out. And if you're an X-Defiant fan, come check this out. Now I want to bring it over to the game and I'm going to show you how just the basic fundamentals of the game. Nothing going too, too deep into this game, but just like a basic understanding of how the menu works and how the games function. So first things first, this is the game. This is the home screen. So two things before I forgot to mention. One, you do not play against any PC players at all. However, all your cosmetics and all your progression does transfer over between this account. Okay, so if you have a Riot account that you've actually played and bought skins on, your skins will transfer over to the PlayStation port. All you have to do is connect to your accounts. Your account does transfer over and there is cross progression. So if you, but your rank, your rankings and ranked do not cross over. They specifically illustrated that your rank on PC is your rank on PC, just like your rank on console is your rank on console. It does never cross over. And two, you never play against people who are on mouse and keyboard or you never ever play against anybody on PC. So that is amazing news. So if you're worried about, I'm oh, just going to get slammed from the people who uh, play mouse and keyboard because this game is just so much easier on mouse and keyboard. Well, that's not true. Okay. I'm telling you right now, nobody plays mouse and keyboard on this game. If they do, they will get banned. Next, we'll go into the menu. So first things first, unlike X Defiant, and not the throw shade at X Defiant, you have basic matchmaking and then you have customs. And what, just before I go into basic matchmaking, customs, you, it's just the standard. You can go through any of the game modes that are available. You can go through any of the maps, especially even the maps that are not currently released for the public. You can just actually play this out because I know Fracture currently right now, Split, Breeze, and Icebox. Are currently not in the rotation right now but you still have the ability in private matches to play, the, play these maps and if you want to try these out before you go into anything or do anything always allow cheats on it gives you the ability to play around with the util and play around with the characters and a really safe area <laughs> this is your safe space <laughs> okay so don't worry allow cheats on mostly applies to uh you can buy any weapon you want practice with any weapon and have unlimited ammo and stuff but this does not apply to matchmaking Matchmaking is basically simple. Uh, Valorant itself is a game where it's first to 13. You always have to win by two. So for example, unrated and competitive are 13. Obviously unrated is self-explanatory. Unrated is just easy. Competitive is competitive. Obviously that's our rank system. Then you got Swift Play. Swift Play is a shorter version of unrated and competitive. And there's no competitive Swift Play. It's just Swift Play. So it's basically taking the unrated 13, first to 13 turning it down to five. Then we got team deathmatch and deathmatch, and it's a self-explanatory. However, deathmatch is more of a free-for-all on the basic maps that you play, like Lotus, Sunset, Freeze, and so on, so on, so on. However, team deathmatch, and also, sorry, for deathmatch, there's no abilities, just the guns. It's all gunplay. Team deathmatch, on the other hand, they have customized and specific maps for this, gun ma or for this uh, game mode. They also allow any agent, and you can use any of the agent's abilities. However, they're a bit different where it's kind of on a more of a cooldown than actually a buy round. 
and also team death matches first to 100 obviously because you're on a team while death matches first to 40. next we got servers you can actually pick the server you want and you can pick multiple servers so currently right now i'm in central and i'm on east servers just so i can maximize my ability to queue up my matches because the higher you go in ranks the less people there is to queue uh, we already talked about practice. Now you can have the ability to close and open your party chat. Don't be afraid. Play around with it. Next, we got progression, battle pass, missions, your daily missions. Nothing too hard. These are just average missions. Um, also, for ranked, I forgot to mention. To play ranked, I believe you have to be level 20. Uh, but on console, I believe it's level 10. So we get the battle pass progression. We got different agents. And so the agents are divided into four categories. So we got initiators, and those are the people who either flash or they reveal enemy or enemies on the uh, team. Then we got sentinels, the people who control the basic around the map. They're the ones who control choke points. They're the one who prevents enemies from pushing up, pushing in onto sites. Next, we got duelists. These are the people who initiate gunfights. These are the people who go into the gunfights and take the first gunfight. Next, we got controllers. Controllers are pretty simple. These are the people who smoke off choke points going into and onto a site next we got your careers and now the careers is very simple now your rank career it will be very similar to your in deathmatch career everything appears once in a while on this uh skit on this feed so your team death matches your death matches your unrated i believe sometimes even your private matches will appear here as well then you got your current rank and then you got leaderboards then you got collections, so then you got your collection, your gun buddies, your player cards, your sprays. Now I have skins for every single one of these guns. Don't ask how much it is, how much my collection is. I'm embarrassed to say. Next we got the store, and I'll say this right now. Um, they cost a lot. That's all. That's all I'll say. Every time you buy something, you will sell your soul. I swear to God, sometimes... These guns do give you aimbot. Sometimes it feels like it. That's why it's so amazing. Like the the skins in these game in this game is absolutely incredible compared to the default skin. Once you start using some of these cosmetic skins, especially like this is the newest one that was released. Uh, I believe last bundle. It's absolutely amazing. It's just fundamentally just an amazing gun, and it feels super nice. But they the guns never change the statistics or anything. So if you're worried about well, they're just going to change the statistics or uh, decrease the reticle. They are purely cosmetic items. It's literally all about feel. Now, people have claimed that it's a psychological thing and the more skins you buy, the more likely you're going to like them. Now, that could be true, but at, this, at the same moment, Riot has always claimed these skins do not do anything for your aim or anything. It's all psychological. That's why certain people like certain skins. Certain people like I hate certain skins. It's mostly about feel, especially when these cosmetics. And so that's just a basic overview of Valorant console beta. Don't forget, there's also settings as well. However, that's, uh, that's definitely for another video. So if you like this video, don't be afraid to hit that like and subscribe down below. And I'll see you next time. Don't be afraid to subscribe for more content for Valorant console, because this game is absolutely amazing and it deserves its own content creators, especially on the console side, because not everything carries over from the PC version. So I'll see you next time. Peace out and have a wonderful time, everybody.